And Steve Chief Robert Zoltis was deployed 11 times with this highly elite search and rescue team out of Fairfax, Virginia. It's one of two teams, the other in Los Angeles County. So this rescue missions took him across the world, Kenya, Haiti and Turkey back in 1999, also for relief efforts following a deadly earthquake. It's a fight against time as rescue teams work to find survivors buried underneath collapsed buildings following a deadly 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria early Monday morning. I wanted to go. The heartbreaking images of children pulled from the rubble and pleas for help aren't new to Durham Fire Chief Robert Zoltis. He's a former member of USA Task Force One a highly elite heavy search and rescue team that's been deployed to Turkey to help in the relief efforts. If there's a life to be saved, they're going to be able to do it. The team of about 79 people, including doctors, specialists, engineers, and six canines should arrive early Wednesday morning ready to work. Most of the rescues that were made back when I was on the team and I went to uh, Turkey in 1999 for the Izmit earthquake um, were people that ran up to us, grabbed our sleeve and said there's someone in here. And we made four live rescues. And back then, that was a very big deal. Chief Zoltis hopes this team will have more success, but points to some of the challenges they could experience. He shared what happened during a search and rescue effort following the 1999 Turkey earthquake. It took us four or five hours to get to her and extricate her. And the whole building kept shifting while we were in there. In fact, one of the rescue specialists with me had to back out at one point because his helmet got stuck. And we found out why the building was settling but the risks are worth the reward. In this case, that reward is a rescue. We were doing great things and making really good rescues, and those families are together now because of it. So a lot of hard work under some challenging conditions, including working in the bitterly cold. The search and rescue teams are working around the clock in effort to save lives. In Durham, I'm Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, they're